Hey guys, Brian Osborne here from Answers in Genesis. I'm with Leanne, the Senior Zoo Manager for Answers in Genesis over both attractions. And we are here at the brand new lemur exhibit, which is so exciting on numerous levels. And you'll see some videos of this up close here in a little bit as we're doing the video, but they are awesome. They're exciting. Leanne, tell us a little bit about these amazing creatures. So here we have eight ringtail lemurs. So this is a bachelor group of lemurs. So we have all males. And these guys are native to the island of Madagascar. And you might notice um, some of them may be up in the trees and then some of them might be down on the ground. So um, ringtail lemurs are one of the few species of lemurs that are both terrestrial and arboreal. Okay. So that means that they um, basically spend a lot of time on the ground as well as up in the trees. And they do a lot of hopping and leaping and <laughs> jumping around really in their do. exhibit here. You might notice we've got a lot of branches and ropes and fun things for them to um, to hang on and run around their exhibit on. And it's amazing. We were just in there and they they move with such grace and ease. They hop, they run, they jump, and it's yes. not even it's not hard at all. It's no. just effortless. It feels like yes. Uh, and you were saying they were, it's a group of bachelors. Yes. Because there's less drama with that. Yes. <laughs> so um, here at the zoo, we aren't planning on doing any breeding with our lemurs. So um, just to eliminate a lot of um, behavioral issues, we actually have a group of eight males. So um, lemurs are mm. unique in primates in the fact that they actually have a matriarchal system. Mm. So instead yeah. of the males being um, in charge, the females are actually in charge of, um, of the group. So the males are on the bottom. So it's all of the females and then the males there's uh, okay. a pecking order with the males that are at there's the gotta bottom be a joke the in there somewhere I'm sure I'll there's I'll plenty of jokes in there <laughs> um, but they are unique and not a whole lot of primates you'll okay. see that matriarchal system so they are unique in that way but we you said earlier and we we're talking earlier that these animals they're pretty active right they're mm -hmm. always running they're jumping they're bouncing uh, even yes. while they're eating they're still kind of hopping around eating their food stop bounce eat right they yes. move a lot yes they're constantly they're either constantly in motion or they're all curled up in a pile taking a nap <laughs> <laughs> i like that and you know they are in constant motion because they're lemurs right that's mm -hmm. just what they do that's part of how god created them right now let's think about our lesson today we're looking at let's talk about the works related to our faith that when you are saved you'll do works of righteousness and you'll do it by nature of who you are. We're looking in the book of James where it talks about you uh, will demonstrate these works of righteousness because you are saved. He actually said that faith without works is dead. That just as the body is dead without the spirit, faith is dead without works. Now, James isn't saying you're saved by works, but he is saying that if you are saved, you're a new creation in Christ, you will do those works by a consequence of who you now are in Christ. And so in a similar way as the lemurs are jumping around by nature of who they are, when we're saved in Christ, we will do these works of righteousness. Now, not perfectly because we're still sinners in a fallen world living in this broken flesh, but we'll be doing those works pursuing Christ. And so the text is still really clear. We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. It's all God's work. But when you are saved, you will do those works of righteousness unto God's glory. We'll do them naturally as the lemurs jump around, naturally love watching these creatures leanne thanks for showing us around a bit on these creatures All right yes absolutely. and we will see you guys later on have a see good ya. one um they'll usually go for some of their favorite sweet peas sweet potatoes something sweet uh,